Hello everyone, welcome back once again to study IQIS English. My name is Pravin Mishra and we are going to discuss another burning topic of the day. So as what you can see, a beautiful frog species here, right? It has been discovered in the state of Assam and has been given the name in the honor of an Assamese college as well. So 21 years of hard work, 21 years of research and finally the scientists and the biologists basically, they have got now a uh, relief, a breath of relaxation as well as they have now succeeded in finding the species inside India. So what's the whole news? So as we can see, new frog species discovered after 21 years of study and named in the order of Asmis College. The one thing that we need to mark, it is not like that, that after 21 years, this, for, the, this particular species of frog has been once again seen inside the territory of India. No, it is 21 years of research that was going on to find such type of a frog species. And after 21 years, once again, okay, the scientists, they have been succeeded in recognizing or finding such frog species inside India for the first time. Okay, so with the whole of the news, what we can discuss here. Okay, so the factors. Here we go. First thing, a new frog species, okay, found where? It is on the location, okay, exactly the location of Garbhanga Reserve Forest, okay. So, where in Assam? So, on the outskirts of the city of Guwahati, we have got one of the very famous as well as wonderful and beautiful forest reserve named what? Garbhanga, okay. You might be aware with the name of the city, Darbhanga. Right, that's in Bihar. So something very similar, okay, name something very similar, but it is not Darbhanga, it is Garbhanga. Okay, so it, what is the name? Garbhanga Reserve Forest, where it is, it is in the another fantabulous state, what we have got, Assam, near the capital city of Guwahati. Okay, so this particular forest reserve is there. What is the name? Garbanga Forest Reserve. Okay, and in this particular uh, forest reserve, we have found a species, what it is named as Leptobrachium arietium. Okay, what is this for? Uh, this frog here? Okay, this is named as Leptobrachium arietium. Arietium as in it is coming from the Arya Vidya Peat College. Okay, so this is what the Arya Vidya Peat College is. Okay, and the scientists and the professors, those who are undergoing research in this college, okay, they have found this frog species. So, in the honor of the college, okay, this particular frog is termed as what? Leptobrachium arietium. So, arietium, that is basically from the college name. Okay, like for example, we have got another names as well. Like for example, Le uh, Leptobrachium rakhinsei. So, Rakhinsa, it is coming from the city of Rakhine or the area of Rakhine in Myanmar. Okay. We have also got the another name like for example, Leptobrachium Silhatium. Silhatium, it is coming from the location or the place or the territory of Bangladesh that is termed as Silhat. Okay. So, Leptobrachium, it is having three species now. Okay. Inside South Asia. Okay, one from India and one from Myanmar and one from Bangladesh. So, Indian Leptobrachium is known as Leptobrachium arietium. Okay, in the honor of the Arya Vidya Peet College. Whereas, we have got the Leptobrachium rakhinsei or Silhatium as well in Myanmar and Bangladesh respectively. Okay, so Indian one, it is known as what? Arietium in the honor of Arya Vidya Peet College. Okay, found where? Garbhanga Forest Reserve. Assam, outskirts of Guwahati. Okay, so as what we can see, the features that we need to mark. So, Leptobrachium arietium's existence was confirmed by a very scientific process. That is, scientists compared the physical form, the DNA and the call of the frog. Call of the frog as in the sound of the frog. So, from DNA to the sound to the physical features. They have been compared to the Silhatium, okay, Rakhinesi, as well as other types of same family that is Leptobrachium. So, through the very same all scientific process, 
it was now finally the time for the scientists to declare that yes leptobrachium forest uh, this frog species they are also found inside the state of assam specifically in the garbanga reserve forest okay so this is a particular achievement that has been published in a new zealand based scientific journal okay what is that new zealand based scientific journal okay here we go so it is named as zoo taxa okay what is the name the name is zoo taxa where it comes from it comes from new zealand so it talks about the animal taxonomy taxonomy as in the art of keeping things all together grouping things all together okay so animal grouping or the animal taxonomy we have got for such thing that is animal taxonomy we have got a scientific group which also publishes its journal okay it is named as what it is named as zoo taxa okay and where is this zoo taxa it is in the country of new zealand okay further when we talk about the prevalence of the species okay when you talk about this frog species which are the countries it is prevalent so make it clear guys it is not prevalent in new zealand New Zealand's Animal Taxonomy magazine, that is Zoo Taxa, has published this particular report. Okay, but it is prevalent where? In India, along with other Southeast Asian nations. Okay, not even South Asia whole. Southeast Asian nations, including India, Bangladesh, and Myanmar. Okay, so the features that you need to mark out Southeast Asia along with the countries of Myanmar, Bangladesh and now it is India as well. Right, so this is what the prevalence of the leptobrachium is. Where? India, yes, Bangladesh, yes, Myanmar, yes, along with the other Southeast Asian nations. That is Laos, Vietnam, Cambodia, Thailand, etc. Okay, they are also present there they are also found there right next we talk about the garbhanga forest reserve okay where is this garbhanga forest reserve so obviously now we had talked about that yes it is in the outskirts of guwahati but with the name reserve forest reserve we must understand that it must be having some extraordinary species with itself Right, so as what you can see, the Garbanga Forest Reserve website has to tell us. So, located on the southwestern side of Guwahati city, along the border of the state of Meghalaya. Okay, Garbanga Reserve is a treasure trove of biodiversity spreading across 117 square kilometers, and the reserve is home to a vast array of flora and fauna. Specifically, if you are keen in bird watching. You are someone coming from the bird watching class, right? So this place is paradise for you. As what we can see, the reserve forest boasts a diverse range of flora with 139 species of trees, including bamboo, teak and sal, and additionally 122 herbs and shrubs with 52 species of climbers, 11 species of orchids and 5 species of bamboo and rattan have been documented. So it's totally green. And absolutely, what? A particular center of attraction for some wonderful birds. Okay. So, this is exactly the location, Garbanga Forest Reserve. As you can see, the Shillong region, that is the Meghalaya border. Okay. And the upper region, we have got the state of Assam. Okay. So, this is what? Absolutely the outskirts of the city of Guwahati. Okay, and talking about the bird species now. So, end number of bird species are there. Literally speaking, nearly 200, not nearly, exactly as of now the present data tells that 219 species of birds, they are documented. Okay, so there are n number of them, but the most striking one is the prevalence or the presence of great slaty woodpecker. See, there are 219 species. We need not recommend, we need not, we need not uh, you know, recall all of them. Neither it is possible, neither it is needed. Okay, but yes, the biggest highlight, we need to mark that one. That is what? The presence or the prevalence in good quantity of a species of a bird that is known as Great Slaty Woodpecker. Okay, they are also present where? In Garbhanga Reserve Forest, Assam, near Guwahati, bordering Meghalaya, where? 
along with this slaty woodpecker, we have also found a particular frog species for the first time in India after a detailed and a prolonged research of 21 years. That is what it is named as Leprobachium arietium, right? So along with arietium, what we have got? The great slaty woodpecker. And what is the importance of this great slaty woodpecker? So if you can see the bird here, okay so slaty in color that's why has also gained the name slaty woodpecker and what are the features the feature is here it is the world's largest known woodpecker with a size of 51 centimeter what is the concept world's largest known woodpecker it is that is great slaty woodpecker okay with a size of around 51 centimeter and another strong feature, the male. The male bird has a bit of orange colored streak around on its throat and cheek. Okay, bit orange color is visible, but only to whom? Only to the male bird. Where? Near the throat and the cheek region, that's it. Okay, so simply speaking, what is the logic? The great slaty woodpecker, what is the feature? World's largest known woodpecker. Okay. What is the another strike? The strike is the length or the height that is 51 centimeters. Okay. And if there is the male woodpecker. Okay. So it will be having some orange colored streak near its cheek and throat. Okay. So this is what the features of the Gar Bhanga National or oh, sorry, Forest Reserve of Assam. Okay. Remember guys, once again, 21 years of research. Okay. And founding the Arietium frog species, named after the Arya Vidya Peet College of Assam, published in Zutaksa Animal Taxonomy Magazine of New Zealand. Okay, and another feature of the Garbanga Reserve Forest, that is what, Great Slaty Woodpecker, 51 centimeter. And apart from that, yes, if it is a male bird, then there would be some orangey patches near the cheek as well as the throat. Okay, everyone. So that's it with the topic. Thank you so much for watching. And please do not forget to subscribe to our study IQS English channel. And if you need to connect with me, so here we go with the social media handles. So for Instagram, it will be Praveen Mishra underscore 2107. And for Telegram, it will be study underscore with underscore Praveen. So wherever you want to connect, just connect with me and let me know your doubts related to your academics. And thank you so much, guys, for watching. Please do hit the like button. And what's your opinion over the research? Do let me know into the comment section as well. Okay guys, bye bye, see you soon, take care, Jai Hind, Jai Bharat.